Hello again. Dorn Markowitz here from D Guitars Miami with another edition of This Week in Cool Custom Guitar Mods. This week I'd like to discuss one of my personal favorite humbucking pickup modifications, series parallel wiring. When you have a humbucking pickup that's got four conductor lead, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. You can do coil splitting where you cut off one of the coils and have a true single coil sound. You can do phase switching which is basically where you can have it sound nasally or in phase where it's full sounding or series parallel. Most pickups, most humbucking pickups are wired in series. The two coils go into each other kind of like in an S formation which is basically how you get the big full humbucking sound. But if you turn one of those coils around and send them both in parallel what you end up with is a tone very similar to a single coil pickup but you still have the advantages of it still being humbucking because both coils are going in the same direction and it cuts the impedance basically in half which is similar to that of a single coil pickup now I had a client bring me this uh, this uh, Epiphone Les Paul he wanted me to wire a pair of Seymour Duncan whole lot of Zep pickups or whole lot of he the, <laughs> the Jimmy Page pickups I forget what they're called whole, whole lot of whatever anyway he wanted me to wire them each to their own respective push-pull volume pot so that way I could split the coils well I actually told him that it would actually be better especially if you're gonna gig in a bar or whatever where there's a lot of neon lights and whatever if we wire them in series parallel that way when you pull up on the pot it'll actually change the direction of the pickup it'll still have a sound very similar to single coil now I have another guitar here that I'm gonna show that has just single coils in it so you'll hear the difference so first, let's hear how these pickups sound in humbucking mode. Okay, here's the bridge pickup first. Okay, here's the neck pickup in humbucking mode. pickup pull up on the pot and suddenly we have it in parallel notice that it's still quiet but it's now got a certain twang and spank to it that's similar to like almost like the bridge pickup of a strat but there's no hum Listen to the difference in volume. When I put it back in series, you hear that the volume jumps up. And that's the same that would happen if we split the coils or cut off one of the coils. Now the neck pickup in parallel. got a tone very similar to like the neck pickup on a Strat or a Tele, but there's no hum. If we put it back in series, you can hear that it gets louder. Now, one of the cool things is if we have them both in parallel, okay, put them in the middle and then that's very similar to the in-between setting of a Telecaster. And then, of course, if we if we play around with it, let's say full series on the neck pickup and parallel on the bridge, changes the tone up a bit. Or parallel on the neck pickup and series on the bridge. Another thing that I also did, which is also one of my favorite types of ways to wire a Les Paul or a guitar that's got individual volume for each uh, pickup, is to actually wire it what I call truly independent volume control. One of my biggest pet peeves is when you have something like a Les Paul, you put the pickup switch in the middle, and then you decide you want to roll off, let's say, the neck pickup, but when you do, it cuts off the whole sound. Well, what I do... 
I wire it so that way they're completely independent of each other. Right now, the bridge pickup is the only one on because I rolled off the neck pickup. And now I rolled the neck pickup back on and rolled off the bridge pickup. You're probably wondering how this is possible. Well, actually, this is pretty much the way they wire things like Fender Jazz Basses. A volume pot has three connections to it. You have one that's grounded to the casing, then usually the middle is the one that goes to the output, and then the first one is the, your input for your pickup wire. Well, you just swap them. You wire the pickup to the middle, and you wire the first one to the output. The ground stays the same. That changes the whole dynamic of it. Doesn't change the way the, the pot functions. Still has a gradual taper to it. So the function of the pot doesn't change. These happen to be a pair of DiMarzio 500K push-pull pots for the volumes. But the actual application changes in terms of the direction it's going. Another thing I also did was the input connection to the tone pots. I decided to wire it one of my other favorite ways, which is the 50s Gibson style tone pot wiring, which is where the input to the tone pot does not go to the input of the volume control, but rather to the output part of the volume control, which in this case would be that first tab. Normally, if you had like a master volume and tone, then it would go to the middle tab because the middle is the one that's the output. Here we've reversed it. So if you wire the tone pot to the output stage of the volume control, which sends the signal out, in this case to the switch and then out to the jack, then what happens is as you're, you're gradually rolling off your volume, it almost acts like a treble bleed. In other words, you don't lose any of the highs like you normally would and it starts to get muddy because this is actually filtering through, okay? And it acts in reverse. Naturally, the tone pot still functions the same. Gradual, gradual. So nothing changes with the way the tone pot reacts. Okay, so just to review, I'm going to put both pickups in parallel, and then I'm going to grab this other guitar that's pretty much same type of construction. This is a mahogany body with a set mahogany neck and a rosewood board. Okay, I have a Les Paul special style guitar here that's also mahogany body, mahogany set neck with a rosewood board. So construction wise, they're both virtually the same. So the tone isn't affected too much, let's say, by different types of woods. All right, so here's your bridge pickup in parallel. Here's your neck pickup in parallel. Now I've plugged this Les Paul Special Style guitar into the same amp with the same cable. Okay, so here's, here's the bridge pickup of this Les Paul Special Style guitar. It's a uh, P90 in a, uh, in a humbucker size, so it's a true single coil. Here's your neck pickup. The neck pickup is just a Telecaster single coil, so it's a true single coil. And now both pickups together. style sounding guitar. So basically you can hear that both guitars sound very similar when this Les Paul's pickups are put in parallel mode. So I hope this helped shed some light on some things and perhaps given you some good ideas to use on a future wiring. You don't always have to do a coil split. In fact, Oftentimes it's much more preferred to use serious parallel wiring, especially if you're going to be playing in a, in a bar that's got really bad wiring or whatever. That way you're not picking up extraneous 60 cycle hum, which is very annoying. All right, so until next time, if you have any uh, wiring needs that need to be done, 
or any other types of repairs like broken headstocks, fretwork, etc. Or if you'd like to have a custom guitar built, don't hesitate to give me a call at 305-896-1811. Until next time, Dora Markowitz from D Guitars Miami. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Uh, uh, uh.